Welcome. I'm Paul, and I'll walk you through the process of building an Omniverse extension. A little bit of context. Omniverse is a platform that's designed to help you make tools for 3D workflows. You'll be working with Omniverse Kit. That's the SDK that gives you access to core 3D infrastructure like USD, ray tracing, physics, nucleus, uh, Python, UI, and more. You build these extensions to deliver the tools you want to deliver, and you can also bundle them up into applications if you want to provide an end-to-end -end experience. NVIDIA provides a few foundation apps like USD Composer, USD Presenter, and Code to help you see the possibilities. When you look at them, notice that they're made of extensions. The viewport is an extension. The stage viewer is an extension. Everything you see is an extension. And what's great about this is that your extensions will behave in the same way to provide this wonderful, well-integrated user experience. So I hope you get inspired by what extensions exist and how you might couple those together with yours. So let's get started. For prerequisites, you'll need um, the Omniverse Code app. You'll want to go get a code editor like Visual Studio Code and have a very basic understanding of Python. So first, we're gonna go get the extension window. So if you go Window, Extensions, that'll bring up all of the extensions that you might want to use uh, when you're using Omniverse, and it includes yours. The first thing I wanna do is I wanna get some debugging tools. So I'm gonna go debug, search through the NVIDIA things for kit, debug VS Code, great. There's VS Code link, let's dock that over here. Wonderful. And let's go get the commands tool, command utils. There we go, this will give us some really cool um, logging and history for the um, USD commands that we're using. I'm gonna dock that down here. And then um, I'm gonna dock our extensions window here and I think we're good to go. So with that, let's get started building our first extension. See in the extensions window, I have a plus button. I'm gonna click that, new extension template and select the location, name my project and then I'm gonna name my extension. Now, this is this namespace is divided up into three pieces, your company and then what you wanna name your extension. So just make it something unique to yourself. This will be exposed to customers. So you wanna pick something good here. Uh, I'm gonna do Paul Spawn Cube. All right, here we go. Now, as it's creating this template for us, uh, it brings up Visual Studio Code. Let me... Uh, get both our windows up here at the same time. I have Visual Studio Code and Omniverse Code. And there's our extension, my window. It's got this little empty region and two buttons. And in Visual Studio, I can go look through the folders here, extensions, Paul Spawn Cube. I go to Paul, extensions.py, there it is. And now I have it, my first extension made. Let's talk through what is going on. So this window has a little bit of UI, has the my window title, and then it has this vertical, um, this vertical stack with a label and then two buttons and a horizontal stack with add and reset. Here is my window. I'm gonna change that to spawn cube. Great. Here's that vertical stack with the label and then that horizontal stack with the two buttons, add and reset. Let's see how they work. If I click add, I'm gonna, get the counter going. So when I click add, it calls the function called on click. Here's on click, it increments the counter and it changes the label to show that. There we go. When I click on reset, it calls the reset function. When I do that, it resets the counter to zero and it changes the label to empty. All right, easy enough. Uh, let's add our own function. So I wanna spawn a cube, right? So I'm going to create a new button gonna call that button spawn and then we're gonna do on spawn I'm gonna create a function for on spawn well I need the function now so let's go make that I'm gonna make it right after this one here uh, on spawn and then for now I'm just gonna do print spawned it just to make sure everything is in and working. All right, so now I'm gonna hit save. Watch the extension inside of Omniverse code when I do this. Uh, when I hit save in Visual Studio, 
we now will immediately see the title has changed to be spawn cube like I did and this button shows up. So we have hot loading of extensions um, when you're working with Visual Studio Code and they're all linked up like this. Great. Um, let's see it working. Let's move it up just a little bit here. I'm going to go to my console and I'm going to show info and I'll clear this all out just so you can see what's happening. So I went to console, cleared it out. I'm going to hit spawn and there it is. Spawned it. Spawned it. Fantastic. It's working. And also notice that because I have Visual Studio um, code linked up, if I want to set like a breakpoint on reset, I can go to the run and debug menu, hit this little green button up here for Python attaching it. Now it's up and running. If I hit spawn, I get spawned it. But if I hit reset, we hit our breakpoint and then I can do all my normal debugging stuff. All right. Fantastic. So that's great. We got a button wired up and working, but now we need to actually spawn a cube. So let me show you how this commands panel works. I'm going to clear the history just so it's nice and clean for you. Create a light. There's a dome light lit up my scene. In the commands history, I can see created a prim that's a dome light. Great. So I can see what I've been doing as a user, but this is really great for you as a tool builder as well. So watch if I hit create shape cube, I've created a cube and there it is my cube. And what's more is I can click the um, copy button here and copy it to my clipboard and let's paste the Python that it's just given me into my on spawn function. So I'm going to tab this over. I'm going to move my import up to the top where it should be. And what I've just done is I've added this command for create a prim with a cube at a certain location. Well, should we see if it works? Let's save it. I'm going to delete the cube from the scene just so you can see it nice and fresh. Uh, in fact, let's just dock my extension over here. And now I hit spawn. There's a cube. Move the cube out of the way. Spawn another one. Spawn another one. Look at that. We have now spawning cubes. Okay, you did it. You made your first extension. It's a very simple extension, but it does give you the foundations to make really powerful tools. UI. You saw how to make UI panels with vertical and horizontal stacks, add buttons, call functions. Those functions can interact with the scene, interact with your APIs, whatever you need to do in just Python. Uh, USD. You got a tiny taste of programmatic access to USD. Uh, USD is a scene description language with APIs and really powerful concepts like composition and layers and variants, uh, payloads, all sorts of things. You can make really, really powerful and complex tools and scenes with USD. So maybe you want to build some workflow tools like aligning or measuring or commenting or painting. You can do all those things with this. Um, and maybe you want to pull data from other sources like spreadsheets or your APIs. You want to bring in some AI efforts. Maybe you want to combine several extensions that you want to pull together into a full app and deliver that to your customers. So in all of those, building an extension is the first step. So I'd like to share a few resources with you. Uh, if you go to developer.nvidia.com slash omniverse, uh, I recommend you learn more about USD, learn more about extensions, and learn about connectors to really let you connect other applications into this omniverse ecosystem. And definitely join the community on Discord, YouTube, and Twitch. Uh, I'd love to see you there. Thank you. I'm Paul Kutzinger. Let's connect. I can't wait to see what you build.